hi guys welcome back to my channel it's a girl be steph and i'm back with another video if it's your first time here if it's your first time seeing me don't make it your last kindly subscribe to those good stuff youtubers as you guys to do whenever i post a new video and if it's not your first time here hey loves thank you so much for coming back to watch our video from me i really appreciate and i ride with you in today's video we're going to be talking about something personal like this is about me now this is about my skin now because i made a video on how i lightened my skin in the face of two years like i took myself two shades like that like i will put pictures and videos of how that i was and apparently some people say that i did not really specify the products i use and that is exactly what this video is about i'm going to be talking about the products i use during the phase of trying to lighten myself and give myself the desired color that i want and let's say i always say this i did not bleach my skin no i just lightened up my skin because i was getting really dark i was not taking care of my skin at the time and i was battling with a lot of hyperpigmentation dark neck dark face just like me looking so dull my skin looking dull and all that so of course if that's what you're interested to watch please do keep on watching now when it comes to a lightening of the skin anybody that comes to me for talk and consultation the first thing i always tell them is my first aim and target is your body lotion and body wash that is your bathing soap and your body lotion before we go into any other thing so the first thing i targeted or the first product i started using i started seeing a good result was my body soap i started with the ashanti body soap you guys know that that is my baby like i've used that thing for the longest of time and that is what i still use up to date though like yes i interchange like we don't use it every day that kind of stuff so when it comes to my baiting soap i use the ashanti body soap that was my body soap during the course of trying to lighten my skin and it really worked well for me it was serving as both a facial wash and a body lotion because it is good like that like it really is good the ashanti i'm talking about is the ashanti papaya and honey soap we have the ashanti carrot and honey we literally have the ashanti rice and turmeric we have the ashanti there are different varieties of ashanti out there but the one i'm actually talking about is the papaya and honey so that was the soap i used to achieve my desired color and when i tell you that is and was very good when it comes to lightening my skin like using that soap alone you can actually see a visible result like literally like you will see your skin already glowing and like there is a vibrant color to it because when you're having discoloration hyperpigmentation your skin it tends to be getting darker and darker and darker so that soap really worked well for me i have a specific video on everything you need to know about the soap from both the original the fake how to use it and all that kind of stuff so that was the soap i used i also used the extract i used the extract at first before i used the ashanti extract came in first but extract wasn't giving me what i wanted extract i always say this is a maintaining soap and that period i was not trying to maintain anything because what was i trying to maintain is it the hyperpigmentation or what or is it the dull skin no so i used extract at first but extra wasn't giving me what i wanted then i switched to ashanti this is not me saying that extract is a bad soap after you have used ashanti you can use both of them ashanti is not a soap to use every day especially on your face so you can use extracts the days you're not using your ashanti you can use your ashanti the days you're not using your extract now when it comes to my body lotion i say this i know that the cream I'm about to mention a lot of people i mean few people don't have a problem with it but a lot of people don't have a problem with it is the bb clear lotion this is a togo made lotion ashanti is a tyler made product bb clear is a togo made lotion now when it comes to this lotion i loved using this lotion one it never gave me any dark knuckles any that is like a very good lightning lotion is not going to bleach you like when it's bleaching is when you have no business in trying to lighten your skin that is when it actually bleaches you but when your skin needs to be lightened up you will see that it work perfectly well for your skin so bb clear lotion was the lotion i used and it worked really well for me and what i like about this lotion is that it's not going to give you that sharp sharp result you're looking for i remember i, I used lotion for like a month it was looking like i'm not seeing anything so i had to tell myself that i'm not in a haste because you know when you're trying to letting your skin we're always in a haste we want to get it done and done with already no any lotion that is going to lighten you up in less than one month two months is dangerous for your skin avoid all this lotion i promise you sharp sharp results in seven days three days it is not good for your skin so baby clear lotion really worked well for me like it lightened up my skin and gave my skin a vibrant radiant looking glow like it literally lightened me like without any reaction no stretch marks no dark vein nothing of that sort my skin was glowing and i love 
the fact that I was not using it alone at the time. I had two other of my friends using it and it worked really well for all of us. Like all of us, we had no issues with the lotion, nothing. So it is very good. That doesn't mean that if it's not good on you, it's from the lotion. No, it's maybe your skin doesn't accept the lotion. Like I said, what works for me will not necessarily work for you. Like that's how it is. Our skin is different. Now, when it comes to my face, I also use the BB Clear face cream. But remember, when it comes to the face cream, I did not use it every day. If I, I think I used it three times a day and mostly at night, even the lotion, I use it at night. That is the best way to lighten your skin. Make night routine your friend. I never use any lightening products in the daytime. I don't do that. Like if I want to use anything in the morning, I use a normal lotion, like a brightening lotion. Like there are simple mouth brightening lotion you can use in the daytime for hydrating and moisturizing of your skin. And then in the night, you use your lightening products. But like with Ashante, I used it morning and night actually like it was not a big deal for me it was not an issue for me so when it comes to my face i use the bb clear face cream as well but i did not use that every day i used it like three times a week and only at night because i was very skeptical like when it comes to stretch mark i don't know why i have phobia for stretch mark like i literally fear stretch marks and i need to stop it stretch marks some stretch marks are beautiful but i don't want a situation whereby i gave myself stretch mark because of i used wrong product that was what my fear was so when it comes to that it did not give me any stretch mark no red vein nothing it just literally lightened my skin without any issues now for my facial cleansers and all i'm not even going to say that in the beginning i had everything all sorted out because considering the fact that i've already wasted a lot of money when it comes to lightening my skin i gave up at a point so in the beginning i started using I started incorporating cleansers that was where the neutrogena cleanser came in and it really did a good work for me we have the rapid three and one we have the acne oil free acne prone cleanser that really worked well for me one thing you need to know about my journey when it comes to lightening my skin was that i was patient in the beginning time i was not patient but at the point i was like you know what it's time for me to do this thing the right way i stopped following get this one get that one i started being intentional anyone i buy i was very sure that okay i'm going to give it the benefit of doubt i'm going to use it and watch it work for me i will give it time a lot of time if it doesn't work then i will change it i was not all about if i use this one for one week it did not work for me i'll go to the next one so that was how i was able to achieve what i was looking for i'm not going to say that it was a sharp sharp process this took me from 2020 that was the pandemic period till uh, this time and i'm still in the process of maintaining i'm not saying that sometimes i don't get that like a little bit of stress here and there gets me really dark like very fast actually so like sometimes i bring back my lightning product sometimes i use my normal brightening product so when it comes to lightening your skin i will say that your first aim and your first target should be your body lotion and your body so these two things before you start looking for tuna before you start looking for serum before you start looking for all these go to go because <laughs> using many products when you're trying to achieve something can do more harm than good so it was when i started seeing a good amount of results and i started incorporating other things that i've already mentioned in the other videos like my cleanser my facial cleanser my serum my moisturizer i started using a different moisturizer i started using like a different kind of things incorporated vitamin c serum incorporated niacinamide hyaluric acid and all those kind of stuff but again it takes a gradual process to figure out what works for you do not be in a haste do not listen to everything everybody out there have to say we have a lot of skincare influencers is it if they tell you to buy this one you buy they tell you to buy this other one you buy they tell you to buy this other one you buy no you just be wasting your money and guess what you'll be very frustrated so that was how i worked and got to this color that i am in once in a while i use our natural remedy turmeric honey rice water exactly like at first i started using rice water as my tuna rice water also really helped me in my journey like rice water i don't i don't say underrated because korea people has promoted that thing so much but like if you doubt it like i use rice water a lot at that time and it really helped it helped in redness of the face it helped in my smile line i mean they said it will help with smile line and i will not say that i really saw the exact result i was looking for when it comes to my smile line for someone that don't like smile line at all but it also helped a very well so as beginners or someone that is trying to lighten up your skin i'm not necessarily saying now that all these product i have mentioned is what you're supposed to use but i'm just trying to tell you that the first step is your body lotion and your baiting soap these two when you get these two right everything can now come 
in place we have many other products that i've reviewed the ones i've used i've mentioned it i, I use neutrogena i use dr rachel i've used a simple anything about simple products is that they are mild on the skin i'm not saying that simple is going to lighten you simple is just for maintaining i'm in the phase of maintaining what i have gotten so if you're in the phase of trying to lighten up i have lots of videos on that already but i hope i've answered you guys question because huh when i saw that comment i was like oh i thought i mentioned it but apparently you want a separate video so here is a separate video so these are the products i used and it worked well for me and this is the process i took using it at night making night routine my friends and that really worked well for me like i don't use it in the daytime and also it is very important that you make your sunscreen your friend it is very important and less exposure to the sun if it's possible when you're trying to get your light shade back because the sun is the number one thing that literally gets us back like that is the truth even though it's like can we really avoid the sun no but like the sun really gets us a dark and that was how your girl achieved this color like you can see the color is popping this is less makeup on my face and i'm still glowing and i'm like maintaining face right now so thank you for watching the video by the way thank you guys so much i really appreciate if you have any other question that i did not answer just leave it in the comment section and i'd love to see you guys and next time please do well to subscribe like share comment till next time bye